Okay, this is an arbor uh, Artemisia arborescens. It's, it's a sort of wormwood. It's a wormwood. Now, I've said before how you can take cuttings of wormwood in late autumn, all through winter, and uh, leave them in a glass of water indoors on your windowsill. And, of course, you change the water once a week. That would be best. But if you take a cutting in late autumn or early winter, by spring you'll have roots. You will. You'll have roots. Can you see? Can we see that? You'll have roots growing in that water. And you can pot them up before spring or just on spring. You can pot them up or you can put them in the ground and they'll grow that way from the water roots gently. You don't want to break the water roots of course. That's what happens. They sprout their own roots, don't they? There are those roots. That's what they look like, just proof that they will sprout in water. It could have been longer had I started sooner. And that's an easy way to uh, grow wormwood. It's a nice fragrant herb. herb. It's nice and fragrant. Blind people like that sort of garden. They're nice and fragrant. And they're very drought resistant. If you keep them alive for that first summer afterwards, they are very drought resistant. So they need extra water for that first summer, but thereafter they're extremely drought resistant. And uh, yes, lovely and fragrant. And they're silver at night time. They have that silvery look under a moonlit night, so that's very nice. And uh, Yes, you can grow them by sticks, putting them in the ground for any time from late winter to, uh, you know, uh, late autumn rather, right through winter. But this is a nice way to do it. And you can just start them off in pots that way and watch them on your windowsill in a glass of water. Lots of fun. So as you can see, I've got wormwood growing this way. I've done it for years and years. And it's everywhere. I'd have a whole sea if it weren't for other people with whom I share this place I would, and my consideration for them. I would have a sea of wormwood. It's already like wormwood scrubs, but I would have a sea of wormwood and it would look wonderful on moonlit nights with albino wallabies running around, wouldn't it? Yes, this is wonderful stuff, very drought resistant, very drought resistant. You'll find it around old abandoned cottages in Australia. It's wonderful, beautiful stuff. And it gives that lovely cottage garden feel and it's a lovely silver grey background. I'm going to advance it in a pot for a month or so. That's what I'm going to do. Rooted, beautifully rooted. And I've planted that once it's uh, got a good root system on it. I'll put it in the nursery. It should do well. They do very well once established, as I said. Very drought resistant once established. You see them growing around old farmhouses. There we are. That should do very well. I've got so many. I'd love to have hundreds more, but I'm not allowed. some more water on that now and put it in the sun for a while or somewhere nice in the nursery. See you then. A beautiful wormwood and it doesn't cost anything to grow your own wormwood from cuttings. It really doesn't. It doesn't. It's beautiful stuff. A sea of wormwood. Beautiful stuff.
gorgeous, fragrant and gorgeous. I want it everywhere. Beautiful. See ya. I wouldn't want to be ya. I like to be here amongst the wormwood. That's what I like. <laughs>